welcome everybody. Uh, today we are going to be looking at what we did last week with the morning practices. I'll just briefly go over the technique too. Um, when we've done that, um, I'm going to hand to Brigitte, who's going to instruct us in uh, morning Qigong practices. So last week we um, talked about the waking up practices between five and seven, and then a little bit between seven and nine, which is our breakfast time. So we started with when we wake up, first thing is a really good thing to do is have a glass of warm water or hot water, maybe. Um, then um, uh, our breathing practices, just some deep breaths into the stomach, uh, maybe a little meditation at that point before maybe going up doing the toilets, toilet um, duties, cold water on the face. And then one thing we didn't cover last week that we will this time is some kind of really good morning activities, whether it's Qigong uh, plus a walk in the forest or walk outside, maybe a swim in the summertime, something like that. That's a really good way to start the day. So what I'd like to do now is just get a little bit of feedback from, from everyone to see how how it went during the, the last week, what, what you experienced, what you did or didn't do. And maybe can we start with you, Charles? Of course. Hi, everyone. Hi, Brigitte. Hi, Lai. Uh, uh, well... Uh, I took uh, the direction from you last week and I have to be honest, uh, you know how the ego works, you know, it does not want to get you better, it wants to be lethargic, wants to be lazy. So I did apply, I wouldn't say 100%, but I did apply some of the techniques that you gave me last week. Uh, uh, and I do see some difference in my energy, in my... Uh, uh, in my uh, breathing, in my, uh, uh, I mean, in total, I feel so, I feel much better than before. And I have no doubt that if I could continue with this uh, more, you know, uh, methodically, that I will have uh, the fruit of the action would be abundance for sure. But yeah, it's working. Thank you, Charles. And Linda's just joining us now, so I'll just let her in here. Hello. Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Hi. Welcome. Hi, Linda. Hey, we, we're just reviewing last week how, how it went and how the morning practices went. And um, let's start by throwing it to you. Now, Charles is just here with us. How's your week been, Linda? And how were the morning practices? Uh, the morning practices, I try to do it more often, even though sometimes it's very difficult to do it in the morning. <laughs> but I try to do my best at least maybe uh, three times during the week. That's a good, I think it's a good start. Bravo. And what do you feel when you do it, Linda? I feel um, relieved, like... It says I'm breathing some fresh air inside and it's really calming and it's really interesting to do that the morning practices. Like you start the day with the energy like you like go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Very nice. Thanks, Linda. I'll I'll hand over to Manuel now. Um and then uh then to Rashid. Yeah, well, uh, actually, uh, everything went off very nicely because I was trying to apply because I had had some previous practice, you know. So, uh, and it's already, I mean, my having gotten better is what's making me continue on all the parts of the program. Thank you for asking. Bravo. <laughs> How, how about you, Brigitte? Is there something you like to... I know we've been doing this for years, but I think it's probably good if we share what 
how it is for us too. Yes, um, it's actually, uh, sorry, I'm trying to, yeah. Yes, it really is, uh, I've, I'm doing it now for, um, for four years. And it's a very, very tough practice because you need a lot of discipline. But if you, and I think I got the discipline because since I had a four stage cancer, there is no, I mean, it's either this or nothing. I realized for me, it's so it's, I'm very, very convinced that this is healing my body. And when I'm not doing it or I'm doing it too late or, or skipping one of the things, I can feel the change of energy in the day. And like we had this Monday, uh, I don't know, I got distracted with, with other stuff and, and I didn't do the practice properly and it all went into chaos. <laughs> and not only for me, but for everybody. That's the thing because I get up maybe then more in a stressed way. And then I start talking in a more stressed way to the others. And then it, it, it's like a, a wave, you know. And and I realized that how important it is that I really wake up. And before I even, op- you know, wh- when I open my eyes, I grab my cup of hot tea. <laughs> and that makes already the difference. You know, my mistake was that I got up before because something was happening and I was saying, you can't do that, you know, <laughs> you have to, <laughs> I went to tell off somebody instead, you know, instead of taking my hot tea, calming myself down before opening my mouth. <laughs> then it's like, you know, it's like, it's, it's really, it is very powerful. It is. And I can see that, um, I don't think it's, oh, it really is very powerful. And when we, um, and the, the fact that uh, I drink the hot water, I'm already calmer. And then on top, I do my meditation. I get even more calm. And then things are less um, worrisome. I'm I'm not so worried about things happening or not happening. And um, it gets just, my head is more harmonious somehow. And then when my head is more harmonious, my my actions are more harmonious towards my family. You know, I know that you know when my when my children were small, I would I would um I would be telling them off from the very morning, you you're not in time, you haven't done put your shoes on properly, you're not, you know, you should be eating this and not that. And it was a, a lot of stress. But now, since I'm doing this practice, <laughs> everything is pretty smooth, yeah. Because I'm in, in harmony with myself, inner inner self, yeah. So, so this week was really a really good moment. And like this morning, I went to the lake. I did the qigong, and I feel so great. Yeah, it's it's wow. I find them. S- and when I travel, I go to parks. I, I discover the many parks and cities and just try to, to figure out the spot where I can say, even I did it on the roof of a hotel <laughs> because I couldn't find any park. <laughs> at the park in Milus. Uh, at the park in Milus, yeah. Even raining. It was yes. The, the week that I was doing that. Yeah. And right. I, I, I was wondering if it was going to work. Yeah. Yeah, we went to the park in Melhus and it was even raining. We found a tree where we were had more shelter and <laughs> did the chigong there. Under the tree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I just encourage you, and maybe yeah. in the beginning it's um it's good just to start with one thing, you know, just hot water. But if you if you start ninety days consecutive with the hot water. After 90 Mm -hmm. days, it stays in your body. And when you wake up, your body will ask you for hot water. And then you can add maybe after the hot water, immediate meditation. And then you make that 90 days. And then you, you, you know, you, you go step by step. 
maybe what we are telling you is very overwhelming. It looks so easy, but as I said, it's very difficult. But if you go one step after the other, and then the others, you just do it when you when you remember or when you feel like doing it. But start with one thing that you feel, okay, that's that's the easiest for me to do for the next 90 days. And then you add the next step up. That's how I would suggest you to do. Bravo, Brigitte. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 this is my third year now working with, with um, Full Times for Health. And I uh, just echo what you were saying, Brigitte. In the beginning, it's like, oh, man, you know, having to find the discipline to do all these weird things all at once, you know. It's, <laughs> I, 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 got, I think I mentioned this before, but I got quite nonchalant about it in the beginning because I'm thinking, oh, so what if I don't drink hot water every morning? It's, you know, the world still spins around, and it does. But um, when you get into the habit, when you don't have to think about each thing, that then it gets really powerful, you know. My, my, my big challenge with the morning practices um, up here in Sweden is, is the winter time and having enough time to do in a, everything in the daylight. It's not really a lot of fun going out and doing Qigong in the dark um, or in minus 20. You know? <laughs> so um, so that, that, that's my challenge. It still is. Now, it's getting lighter now, so I'm nearly at the point where I can go out and do, do Qigong outside. Um, and that, that really means a lot. Being in the nature energy is the thing that gives me enormous power in the morning. Just being out, outdoors. Um, or like you said, Rashid, if you have a chance for a swim, being at the lake, that's, well, that really sets the energy for the day. So what we're talking about with the morning practices, in my opinion, is, is really the most important series of exercises for the day because if we mess up at the beginning then it ricochets through the day um i i had that on sunday i thought oh i'll sleep in today i'll just miss everything and i did sleep in and got the whole day was really stressful (laughs) so my sleep in didn't work so you know, um, it's, uh, Lyle, it sounds so radical, but once you start it, you can really feel the difference. You know, I never thought, you know, I was like, oh, okay, I'll also sleep in nice. Especially on weekends, <laughs> I feel like sleeping longer. But it really is the case that if you don't do it, <laughs> you can be sure that the day doesn't work out so well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh? <laughs> Um, would anyone else like to make any comments about the morning practices before I hand over to Brigitte for our Qigong lesson? Okay. Like I said before, <laughs> but I've been getting better for what? I've been using them now for three months, and my improvement is more on the on the readings, on the medical readings, when I went to see the doctor and what she said about the fact that uh, I had had better results than the whole group of people that she was seeing as patients from her point of view. I said, well, that's great. And well, that's she's always well. keeping in touch on what, because she's trying to give me another one now where I would limit the movements that the you know that I have, involuntary movements, etc. And so um, we're uh, keeping an eye on that one. Thanks, thanks very much, Manuel. Yeah, and I just want to say one last thing is not, not to not to feel guilty or bad if we don't get it right, you know, for a while. <laughs> it does sure. take. It does take training and practice, and that, you know, I mean, oh, <laughs> discipline's not my strength. Um, but it's, yeah, so don't beat yourself up if it's not right in the beginning. That's what I want to say. Okay, Rashid, I'll hand to you now, dear, and um, we're going to learn the essences, essence of Qigong. Yes, I will. So I will uh, show you the 
the first part of Qigong out of four parts. And it's actually, the goal is to, to reconnect with the blueprint of Earth, huh? with, 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 with Mother Earth and the sky. So it's not a physical uh, exercise. It's really energy, taking the energy from, capturing the energy from the Earth and capturing the energy from the sky. So maybe in the beginning you 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 will feel a little bit odd. You you won't feel it um, the the s the effect of that exercise because the movement is very slow and very easy. Um, the thing is to really be almost in a meditative way when you start that movement to have the most benefit and. Um, so that movement, you can do it three, six, nine, twelve times. It according to your to your possibilities of of uh, according to your possibilities of uh, of time. So sometimes if I have a meeting or, or I got up too late, and I will just make it three times. And then when I have I need like my energy is low or I feel like a bit stressed, I will do it more times. Um, the important thing again is to have the best benefit is to do it 90 days in a row without interruption. Um, if you stop one day, you restart from zero. <laughs> so it's very, yeah, it's very, if you really want it anchored in your body, it's 90 days. But I heard that there are other organizations who have also the 90 days rules to implement changes in their life to be really on a very long-term uh, basis. Connected meetings in 90 huh? days. AA huh? does that. Yeah. Manolo is just saying AA does that. 90 minute meetings in 90 days. So it's interesting because we, we figured out that we had the, <laughs> the same figure. So there is something about it. Um so that's yeah. That's what it takes you know for the long term behavior to be printed enough mm -hmm. for anything, good one and bad one. Yeah. So let's hope that we get the good ones. Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. So I will show you um, how to do the practice. So here I would like to show you a practice of qigong that you can do in the mornings, ideally while the sun races. So you find a spot, it can be in your balcony, it can be in your garden, it can be in a, in a park in nature. Ideally you have a tree in the back of your, in your back so he holds you somehow. Because we are close to nature here, we are going to get the energy of the of the early morning when the earth is rising and the sun is rising so we are taking this energy of the rising sun into our bodies this is an energetic work we are doing and I'm going to show you these movements look very easy but if you stay centered and very concentrated and in a meditative way these exercises give you a lot of energy and calmness into your daily life. So you find a very a flat space. You keep your legs a little bit separated. You stay very anchored, anchored on the earth. And then you bend a little bit your knees and you're like sitting on the bench. You have a very relaxed shoulders you contract a little bit your stomach and you close your passages so you keep the energy inside you you relax your face and you put your tongue you no sorry you put a little bit your your jaw in the back and then you put the tongue on top of your palate and you visualize like you had a string 
making connection with the sky, with the universe. And you feel like you're centered in the middle between the universe and the earth. You relax your jaws, you relax your front, and you close your eyes and you smile. So you feel your arms are towards the ground and you feel the energy of the earth pulling up your arms, underneath your arms. You're not doing anything. It's nature pulling up your arms. And you arrive to this T position and you turn your arms towards the sky and you collect all the energy of the sky and the universe. And you like resembling it for you. Once you have the arms on the top and your fingertips touch each other, you have collected the energy of the earth and universe and you bring it towards you and around you. You create like an aura. And you bring down your arms slowly. A little bit below your umbrella and you let this light and energy go into your body not too long just a little bit and then you bring again back down your arms and you do the same thing you feel how your arms are being pulled up by the earth and you're collecting the earth's energy. And you turn your arms upwards and you collect the energy of the sky and the universe. And you feel like you're being pulled up with the arms still. Until your toes touch each other your fingers and you bring that energy around you you bring it you bring the arms down and you surrendered surrounded by this energy like a circle you bring it down a little bit below your umbrella Feel like that energy going into your body. And again, a third time, bring down your arms. And a third time, feel like the force of nature pushing your arms. Turn your arms towards the sky, collect the universal force and bring it towards you. You bring down a little bit your arms and you feel like the aura is pushing your arms around you. You bring your arms again a little bit below the umbrella and then you feel this whole energy flowing into your body. 
You feel all that light that you collected flowing into your body from the tip of your toes up to your head. This exercise you can do three, six, nine, twelve times. It's important you respect these numbers. You can do it according to your time. Once you have done this, you collect this energy you and you put your fingertips and you push your arms up and you distribute the light to all your surrounding three times this you do like a closing movement you wash your hands nine times and wash your face nine times. So this exercise, you can do it five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, respecting the three, six, nine times of this movement. If you do that during 90 days, Without any interruption, it will change your DNA. You will calm down and you will be much more serene in your daily life. You will be really feeling it and your family will be feeling it. It is important you do it 90 days in a row. If you interrupt it one day, you will have to restart from the beginning. So as much as it looks easy, there is a mod discipline, discipline will work behind this exercise. That's why you get to reach also a powerful result if you do it rigorously. Linda, you, you were saying... Yeah, I wanted to ask about the exercises, like the information about the exercises uh, how many times do we wash the face? How many times do we get up our hands? Yes, yeah, yes. Because it's easy to remember. Yeah, we we will send you some. Uh, uh, Lyle has sent you a document on the last uh, meeting about the exercises, but uh, maybe Lyle, if you can send it again to Linda. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yes, Thank for Charlie you. also. Mm -hmm. Yes, so uh, then you have. I, I have. I, I have received it. Thank you. It's yeah, very please. precise and very, very informative. Thank you. Yeah. And, we have um, also sort of a, a little book where we where you can like write down inside, you know, each day what you have done and not done. So if you want, I can I can try to send you the first page and then you can print it on a daily basis and this will then help you to to kick the things that you were able to do and not to do and follow up. Bravo. Brigitte, I, I have a suggestion maybe for um our timing that may, maybe we can ask our participants now to to practice during the next week um what you've showed us and um Maybe we can actually start the next session by doing uh, some Qigong together um, in, a, yeah. in a way. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. Oh, if you awesome. feel like doing that, yes. Yeah. Everything is free will. I mean, this exercise, you, you can also replace it with yoga. You can replace it with the Tai Chi or you can replace it with um, with other exercises. I like this exercise because uh, I can, you know, when I have five minutes, I do five minutes. When I have 40, half an hour, I do whole half an hour. It's, it's that, that's what that's I really true. like about that. Yeah. Even sometimes if I have an early flight at four in the morning, I never go out of the house without doing at least once that exercise or just on the street. I <laughs> just do it. 
Yeah, so that's... And I, I feel for learning it too, it's really nice if we do it together, even yeah. if we're not physically together. Yeah. Um, I feel great strength in that. So I would, would really like it if we could do it together next week um, and experience that. Yeah, yeah that's a great uh, suggestion. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Let's do that. Yeah. Charlie, it, it, the line Charlie. is bad. Question, if I may. Yeah. So I have Charlie. a quick question, if I yeah. may. Uh, okay. Um, uh, what's what's uh, What's the benefits of this exercise and where is this uh, exercise uh, created from? Okay. The benefit. Um, can, can I just jump in there, um, Brigitte and, and Charles? Sorry about this. Um, I'm just realizing we, we, our time is nearly finishing for now. So um, maybe that will be our starting point for next session is looking at the... Uh, background of what of of Shigong what Charles is asking if that's okay for everyone um that would be a really good kickoff and then we can get in and do some um so um it's really just time now to thank everyone for the session and um look forward to seeing you this time next week if that's okay with everyone's timing yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you very much Okay, all, all the best Thank to you. you. Thank you. All the best.